Hello, you're watching the Star News Update, Kenny Matthias. The Paraguay Legislative Assembly has accepted the letters signed by the two Pakatan Rakyat Assemblymen as true and genuine. Senior Exco member and Perak DAP chief Datuk Nge Ku Ham says that with respect to the democratic system, the decision made by Assembly Siva Kumar was binding and should be respected. He says the Assembly was ready for the by-elections. Nge was responding to questions on the validity of the resignation letters signed by Berang and Changkat during Assemblymen Jamaluddin Mohamad Razi and Mohamad Osman Mohamad Jailu. Meanwhile, the Berang and Changkat during Assemblymen did not attend a press conference for Monday but send their representatives to confirm that they have not left the party. Uh, jadi saya wakil daripada YB Jamaluddin Bin Marazi, Adun Behrang menyampaikan salam kepada semua dan uh, beliau uh, tidak dapat hadir pada petang ini kerana dia tidak sihat. Jadi dia mohon jutaan maaflah. Uh, jadi di sini kita dah edarkan uh, kenyataan akhbar daripada pihak YB Jamal dan kita rasa uh, kenyataan itu boleh menjawab apa yang telah dikeluarkan di Perak semalam. Uh, jadi YB tak dapat datang dia tak, tidak sihat. Bukan menghilangkan diri, bukan dilarikan. Uh, jadi saya rasa tak ada apa-apa yang perlu kita jelaskan daripada pihak YB Jamal lah. Kita, dia memang tak sihat. Ali Esko members tahu dia tak sihat dan pernah MC sampai 10 hari. Uh, saya rasa penjelasan dia tidak sihat lah uh, Dia bukan melarikan diri atau tidak Sampai hari ini tidak ada Sampai hari ini masih ada PKR a school bus headed for SJK Chunghua Confusion in Penang on Monday plunged into a river near the state mosque in Air Hitam at 7.20 a.m. killing the driver. Some of the 23 primary school pupils on board sustained injuries and received outpatient treatment at the Penang Hospital. Georgetown Police Commissioner Azam Abdul Hamid says the driver, Ko Jun Huat, could have suffered from fits when the incident took place. A passerby, P. H. Tan, said he stopped from his car and, together with the other bystanders, jumped into the river to pull out to safety. Transport Minister Datu Sri Omar reiterated that a new low-cost carrier terminal or LCCT is needed to meet the country's future aviation needs. I stand my ground by saying that, as far as M uh, Malaysia is concerned, as far as our domestic needs are concerned. We need to have a new LCCT. You see that? When I say a new LCCT, whether you want to put it in Labu, you want to put it in uh, KLIA, or the vicinity, that definitely remains within the jurisdiction of either Asia, Asia, the party which brought up the proposal of Labu Airport, or, or MAB. Malaysia Airports Perhat. Ong also clarifies that a proposal for the Labu LCT by the private sector and the cabinet paper was tabled by the Economic Planning Unit and not Ong says that from the Transport Ministry's, Ministry's end, he had made it clear that the new airport had to fulfil a few basic parameters. For more updates, log on to thestaronline.tv. I'm Danny Thanks for watching.